Hi, Tamara here. Welcome to my channel. You know, one of the most common questions and comments that I receive in the comment box on my videos is about my eyelashes. Are those your real eyelashes? What do you, mascara do you use? Lots of questions and comments to the point where I added, are those your real eyelashes to the frequently asked questions FAQ uh, section of the description box. Short answer is I do use an eyelash growth serum. Long answer is I do have a couple of other tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you today to help you get the best eyelashes of your life. So if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. We are gonna talk all about eyelashes right now. Now, before I get into the actual tips and tricks, I'm gonna just give you a very brief history of my eyelashes. For most of my life, I, my eyelashes were fine. They weren't overly long, they weren't overly thick. I've been wearing mascara since I was 14. I never had stick straight eyelashes. I've really never had to curl them until my 40s. I had decent eyelashes, I was happy with them. All good. Until my late 40s. And I started to notice my eyelashes were getting shorter and thinner and over time, I felt like they were disappearing altogether. It really bummed me out. You know, so as they got shorter and thinner and skimpier, I did start using an eyelash curler because one of the ways that you can make your eyelashes look longer is if they curl up. Now, like I said, in my younger years, they curled up naturally. But as they started losing length, they started straightening out. So. In my late 40s, I did start using an eyelash curler and that did help. However, my eyelashes continued to get shorter, thinner, and skimpier. So one day I was at my aesthetic dermatology office. This was about nine years ago. And I was getting Botox in my 11s, which I do every six months, but that's a whole nother video. Anyway, I was talking to Polly, my injector, and I said, Polly, my eyelashes are disappearing. What can I do? And she told me about Latisse. Now, Latisse was new, newer then, and I had started to hear about it, and it is a prescription, and I was at a dermatology office, so I'm like, I'm ready for any, I'll try it. I really wanted to get my eyelashes back. I was really sad about losing my eyelashes. So the dermatologist did give me a prescription, and I did bring it home, and I was really, really excited. So I used Latisse on my eyelashes religiously every day. And within a couple of months, I started to see some eyelash growth. I was really encouraged. So what happened ultimately with the Latisse? After using it for many months, I did not get any volume whatsoever. And although I could see my eyelashes growing, they weren't growing evenly. I did not get any effect of longer eyelashes. What, what would happen is a few eyelashes on each eye would get crazy wonky long weirdly long so that I actually had to trim a few eyelashes but yet I was not getting any overall length so I used up that first prescription and I just never went back to it because I was absolutely not happy with the results fast forward to five years ago when I discovered YouTube and some of the first people that I subscribed to of course was Angie Hot and Flashy and also Tammy's Ageless Beauty and at some point, both of those ladies on their channel talked about Revitalash, and both of those ladies have amazing eyelashes. So I'm sold. I purchased Revitalash. I used it religiously every, here, here's my Revitalash. Revitalash, Revitalash is an eyelash growth serum. It is supposed to condition and help your eyelashes grow and help them get thicker and also it also claims to help them curl. And I really do think that the Revitalash has given my eyelashes a little bit more curl because I no longer need to curl my eyelashes. In fact, I do not even own an eyelash curler. Anyway, so Revitalash comes. It's like an eyeliner, little eyeliner brush. And you just sweep, sweep at the base of each lash line, you know, at night with your skincare. Now, once I achieved, after using it every night for a couple of months, then I would back down and I currently use it about 
four evenings a week. If I notice my eyelashes not looking as long or as thick as I like them, I might go back up to every night for a little while. And, and once I get them to where I like them again, I might back down. So I have used this very consistently for at least three, maybe four years. I swear by it. I love it. Okay, so I am a huge, huge fan of Revitalash. And as long as it's working for me, I will continue to use it. Like I said, I'm afraid to try anything else. Latisse was a huge failure for me. And I had super, super skimpy, short, thin eyelashes in my late 40s and early 50s and Revitalash brought my eyelashes back. In fact, I think my eyelashes are better now than they were in my younger days. Now, having said that, there's still a couple of cosmetic tips and tricks that you can use to give your eyelashes a longer, thicker look. And I am going to show you that right now. Okay. So now I am coming to you with no mascara and no eyeliner on because I want to show you what my eyelashes look like in their natural state. And then I will show you a couple of tips and tricks to use makeup to get your eyelashes looking as nice as possible. So here, I'm gonna get close. Here are my eyelashes. No mascara, no eyeliner. Now, you know, they don't look like anything special, right? I know if I chose to dye them, they would probably look a lot better without mascara and eyeliner, but I wear mascara pretty much every single day. However, if you are somebody who dyes your eyelashes, share it in the description box because, you know, that's something I would like to look into sometime in the future. Um, it's just, it just has not been part of my repertoire up until now. Okay, so that's what my eyelashes look like with no mascara on. And what I want to show you today is uh, I'm gonna do one eye the way I do it and one eye just with plain old mascara. And hopefully you will see the difference with these tips and tricks. Trick number one is tight lining. You know, tight lining the upper lash line, not eyeliner on top of the lash line, but using an eye pencil just under and into the lash line really gives your eyelashes a more thick, you know, a volumized look without even before you even add mascara. So one of my favorite eyeliners is this Physician Formula Shimmer Strips. It comes with three. Uh, there's a black and a dark brown and a light brown. And that's what the package looks like. And I do have this listed on my Amazon store. This isn't that easy to find in store. I don't see it in Target or Walgreens or Ulta, but I usually order this on Amazon. It is $11, you get three eyeliners. They're very long lasting on the tight line. And I usually use the dark brown. I typically don't use a black eyeliner. I find that just to be a little bit too harsh. But another eyeliner that I recently tried was the L'Oreal La Liner. This is also very, very nice. I bought this in a dark brown and sometimes a real navy blue eyeliner will make the whites of your eyes look a little bit more sparkly. So I'm gonna show you some swatches, the difference in these three eyeliners. They're all very effective and long lasting in the tight line with minimal transfer to the lower lid line. This is the Physicians Formula I don't know if you can tell that is more of a charcoal brown. Here's the L'Oreal La Liner. That's more of a ch uh, chocolate brown. And here is the L'Oreal La Liner Navy. Like I said, sometimes if you use navy in the tight line, that can actually make the whites of your eyes look a little brighter. Okay, but today I'm gonna stick with my tried and true. I've been using this for years and I am gonna show you how I tight line with my Physician Formula Shimmer Strips. It's a roll up. How I tight line is I close my eyelid onto the eye pencil and then just rub it back and forth. So basically closing the eyelid onto the eye pencil and rubbing it under and into and in between the eyelashes.
It's really very simple to do. It does take a little bit of practice, but I hope you can see the tight-lined eye versus the eye that is not tight-lined. It, it already gives my eyes more definition and actually makes my eyelashes look a little bit thicker than they really are. Okay, so tip number one for thicker looking eyelashes is a tight line. I think it makes a huge difference. Tip number two, an eyelash primer. Now I have been using the L'Oreal eyelash primer for quite a few years and I absolutely love it. It's just very effective. It's like a white mascara, it's a primer. And again, you just apply it like a mascara. And anytime you're applying primer or mascara, start at the base of the lashes and wiggle it to really work it into the base of the lashes. And then just work it through the lashes. I'm pretty liberal with the eyelash primer. Now, lots of different companies have eyelash primers. I know Lancome has an eyelash primer that's supposed to be very, very good. I haven't tried it. The L'Oreal eyelash primer has worked really well for me. I recently tried the Essence eyelash primer. It's about half the price as the L'Oreal. I didn't like it quite as much as the L'Oreal, so, you know, Find an eyelash primer that you like that works for you. And one of my tips for an eyelash primer is I let it, usually I go lash primer, lash primer, mascara, mascara. That gives about 10 or so seconds for the eyelash primer to set a little bit. If you go primer and then right away with mascara, sometimes if the primer is too wet, the mascara will just wipe it off. And sometimes if you let the primer dry completely, the mascara doesn't adhere to it as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is drugstore. I have been loving and using this for about 15 years. Just got your basic, you know, um, brush, sort of your basic classic brush. And I just apply that right over the primer, wiggling it at the lash line and just working it through the lashes and covering up that white eyelash primer. I'm pretty generous with mascara. Okay, so here is one coat of mascara over one coat of primer and a tight line. And of course here, I don't have anything. All right, now I'm just gonna go on my left eye with just mascara, no primer and no tight line, and hopefully you will see the difference that the tight line and the primer does make. Okay, so here I have two coats of mascara. The right eye has tight line and primer, two coats of L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and my left eye, no tight line, no primer, two coats of L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I do feel like just those two little tips and techniques does make a difference in making my eyelashes look a little bit thicker and a little bit longer. All right, so those are my tips and tricks for how you can get the best eyelashes of your life. In summary, in, an eyelash growth serum of some kind is a miracle worker. As far as makeup techniques, tight lining the upper lash line is huge for me. An eyelash primer is huge in terms of adding length and volume, and of course, mascara, and definitely using the technique of wiggling at the lash line because that also helps give your eyelashes a more volumized look. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate the time that you spend with me. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable, and if you did, I would love it if you would throw it a thumbs up I hope you have a great Sunday and a wonderful week. Take really, really good care of yourself so that you can stay safe, happy, and healthy. And I look forward to seeing you in the comment section. And I also look forward to seeing you in my video next Sunday. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye. And we are going to jump into two makeup trips. Ah, and how, and I really think that most of and I really think this is 90% of the reason that I have
you know okay I hope I did I get that I should have taken a picture of that okay now I got to tight line this okay now I got to do the beginning and the end 